Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I realized I haven't done a daily plan with me in a minute so I thought why not surprise you guys with a fun Saturday plan with me. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope that you all are doing well and welcome to the month of May. As you guys know, it is my favorite month, so I thought it would also be really cool to put out a video on May 1st. I love this month. It's my favorite. It's also my birthday month, so <laughs> that's probably why. I'm sure everyone loves their birthday month the most. So I have switched back into the daily plum paper in the A5 size. As you guys know, for many months, I have been using the 7x9 size, simply based on the fact that plum paper did not offer their new modern color scheme in this A5 size. And that is truly the only reason why I <laughs> stayed in the 7x9 and chose to basically avoid the A5 size. But the A5 size is truly my favorite. So I have planned in here for like the last few weeks and I've really, really been enjoying it. It's just, I, I love this size and the way that it works with my handwriting. It just, you can make any planner work. I, I just kind of like the ratio of writing space to how it fills in all of that fun stuff. So here you can see like this was the week that I was sick, like lots of <laughs> blank pages. But I really, really enjoy this planner and its size so, so much. And one of the things that I wanted to touch on before I move into the plan with me are pens that I love using in this planner. I get this a lot simply because a lot of people have a fear or just an immediate dislike of the plum paper or paper, but there are so many pens that work perfectly fine in this planner. I feel like this planner just does not get enough credit. And I know like EC is coming out with their own A5 daily, things like that. So if you're not comfortable with purchasing the A5 daily duo, I think that's what they're calling it, um, there is another option. It's been here the whole time. So <laughs> let me go over to a notes page really quick. I'm just gonna put my ruler in there. Um, so these are a few pens that I like to use in the plum paper daily. I also was using a Papermate flare for some reason I cannot find it. I kind of had like a love-hate relationship with the Papermate flare just because I liked the pigment of the ink for it being a felt tip marker pen situation, but it needed drying time and it was highly annoying. And in the A5, it was only going to be worse because it's smaller. I can't like move my hand out of the way to let things dry. You have a smaller surface to do that with. So my favorites are the Sharpie S gel. You can do the 0.7, but I actually, I actually like the um, 0.7 just fine. My only issue with the Sharpie S gel isn't the paper, it's the pen itself. I had, and you can kind of see it on the S here, let me like zoom you guys in really quick. I had like a few packs of this pen with no issues whatsoever. Then all of a sudden I bought the white ones and some of them have like some skipping issues, but as you can see, there is no smudging on the plum paper. So the Sharpie S gel is definitely a good, um, a good pen to try out. Now, as far as porous tip pens, the Sharpie pen is really, really good. I had another one, I guess it comes in two sizes and I didn't even realize it. It's like marked right here. There's a medium and a fine point. And I tried the medium before and I was like, oh my God, this is horrible. I did not like it. But this one actually does work really, really well. So here's this one. It's the Sharpie pen, if I could just write. And there's also no smudging with that pen at all, or marker, I should say. My only issue with this one is, I don't know if you can tell, it's almost like, it's just not as pigmented, and I don't like that. <laughs> I wish it was like the black ink was more black. That's really just it. Okay, another favorite is the Pentel Klenna. This comes in a variety of barrel colors, um, just different tips, but this one specifically is the needle tip. So if you like the needle tip pen, I personally do. But this one also, I feel like I've never used this one. It's kind of coming out scratchy. This one also does not smudge or smear 
at all on the plum paper paper. All right, now this one right here has become a new favorite of mine, and this is just the regular Pentel Energo. So I'm really loving this one a lot. This, this was a recommendation from Katie over at KDK Plans. I grabbed about four or five of these over at uh, Jet Pens. I'm, I'm sure I can try and link them for you from like Amazon or something like that down in the description, but if you really want to find them, they are over on Jet Pens, and they're fairly inexpensive. But this one right here is like winner winner chicken dinner and I'm not going to even spell this right because I'm talking and writing at the same time but that is just amazing there's no smudging so these are easily like my top four pens for this planner now I think you can I think the I think the pilot g2 might work I feel like I have tried this before and it did not and I only have pilot g2s in blue because Pilot G2s in black are trash. Yeah, the G2 is a nope, absolute no-go on this planner. All right, so that's that's my little spiel. If you're considering plum paper, don't be as scared of it as other people might be making you feel because <laughs> it's, it's a really great planner and really truly out of all of the daily A5 planners that are out there on a coil, the plum paper is the most customizable. That's like, there's no arguing that. <laughs> because and this is this is why I say that your cover can be customized down to the color the font where it is that you want this you could have a circle square rectangle you could have the year you could have it down here the covers are also uh, removable you can put a note in your order and say make it removable that way when you order additional covers you can just pull this cover off um, the other thing is that if you forget to put that note in there you can easily just snip the cover it works just fine now, my only, my only issue with this planner is that in the A5 size, Plum Paper only offers one color scheme and it is the one, like this one, that has three colors that kind of go from bold to, or from light to more bold, but like all the same. So like three shades of purple, three months of peach, and, and so on. So it's a little, it's a little rough going. So if you got six months and it started in January, you were going to have purple for three whole months and now I'm in like the peach depths of hell <laughs> like with three months of peach that is my main issue is it a deal breaker for me absolutely not absolutely not all right so here we go my god we're in the second phase of peach hell <laughs> and we're jumping into May I do not use the monthly highlights as a matter of fact I'm going to take some adhesive and probably just glue this to that and be done with it. So here we are on the first day of May. Let's get planning this day now that I've caught on a rant for a good 10 minutes. All right, so my top three um, is what I always put right here in this part of the planner and it's going to be my medication, vitamins, and closing my rings. All right, so in this next area, I like to put my schedule. And since it's Saturday, my, my personal idea of sleeping in is <laughs> until eight o'clock so i'm going to put at eight o'clock that's going to be my a.m routine it's pretty close to what i do during the week except a little bit more like relaxed like not so like things don't have to happen in a certain time frame like we have all morning we can relax <laughs> after that about midday i do have some errands to run i need to see if kayla wants to go with me i'm not exactly sure what those are just yet um, I'm going to put 12.30 for lunch, which will more than likely be at home. Or we might pick something up like, I don't know, like Chick-fil-A or something, which is like the only time that we ever get to have it if we run errands in a certain um, part of town where we're close to one because we don't actually have Chick-fil-A in my town. All right, and then 6.30-ish, we are going to have dinner, and that's going to be steaks on the grill if... Um, if the weather cooperates with us, I hope. <laughs> we will see. All right, now I'm gonna have to pull out my dot marker. I don't know why, I just gravitate towards using the gray one. I've noticed that I just, there's a peach color in the Zig color dot markers, but like the peach is like blood red almost. And I just, I don't, it's too much. It's a little too intense for me. All right, so I'm gonna put these dots down for this area, and this is where I put all of my business 
stuff. And of course, I want to share the um, daily plan with me that you are that you guys are watching right now. And apparently, I can't spell it. <laughs> I haven't quite mastered talking and writing at the same time, even after all of these years. All right, and then I need to pre-plan the upcoming week, and I always do that on Saturday nights, um, simply because that's when I have time for it, and then on Sunday I'm not worried about it, and I can just hop right into filming a plan with me. Next up is some pics on the weekend. I typically take a few pictures that I can share throughout the week. It's just makes things a lot easier for me. I need to go through my business emails and look through some collaboration offers that have been offered a lot, almost 90%. I just delete, <laughs> but there are a few that I'm interested in reading a little bit more about. Next up, I need to catch up on comments and messages. I really don't like to get behind on those. So I do make it kind of a daily task, but you know, life gets in the way. And then I need to pick a giveaway winner for last week's meal planning video. So by the time you guys see this, I think there'll be a small window of time to enter. But if you want to check out last uh, Saturday's video, I shared my meal planning process, some tips, and I am giving away a meal planner. So make sure you check that out. All right, my to-do list is huge on Saturdays. Why? Because I typically don't like to do nearly as much on Sundays. So I do a lot of cleaning on Saturdays and then Sundays are usually my days to like prep for the week and just make sure that I'm organized, things are where they need to be, things like that. So we're gonna put a whole bunch of dots down. There's already dots on the page, but I like the bigger <laughs> dots that I can make with this marker. I think that might be enough. We will see. All right, so of course we've got to do laundry. I still haven't even put away my laundry from two days ago. Are we shocked? No, we are not. We've got to do some yard work. Yay. I've actually got to get the mulch for the front flower beds, but again, that all depends on how the weather is going to be. I need to make sure the kids, this is actually a kid task because I do not like bathing my dogs. Well, I don't mind bathing Bruiser. Brody is a beast of a dog and I always need help. So the kids will be helping out with that. And then we also have to do their nails. All right, then I've also got to focus on bathrooms. I only do the master. The kids share the duty of the downstairs guest bathroom and their bathroom. I don't touch their bathroom. That is like a danger zone. If you have adult kids or teen kids, don't go in their bathroom. It's scary. <laughs> And then I've got to focus on floors. The kids will do up here. I focus on the downstairs. Definitely need to dust. We already changed our air filters. Normally I wait until the first. However, they were so bad with all the pollen and just yuck. I was like, let's, let's change them early. So we already tackled that. All right, I knew I was gonna run out of dots. Got a couple more. All right, and then I need to meal plan and then focus on putting together the grocery list, which by the way, I am absolutely loving the Cariel meal planner. It, I love it. I'll have to show you guys in another video how I'm using it because I've kind of tweaked it to work for me as I do with most things, but I really, really do love it. All right, and then I've just got some other daily habits like my daily delete, my photo of the day, listening to a podcast or watching a YouTube video. I try not to get in the habit of sitting and watching like 12 YouTube videos, which I have done before, but I do wanna support my friends that create content. So I make it a habit to try to listen to a podcast or watch a YouTube video from one of them. And of course, reading for 30 minutes. Also, I did pick my book for the month of May and it's, it is going to be Set Boundaries, Find Peace, A Guide to Reclaiming Yourself. I have seen this book recommended everywhere and I am so pumped to jump into it. So this is going to be my book for the month of May. Yes, I only read one book because I'm not a reader, but I wanted to find time every day to read even just a little bit. So this is going to be my book for the month of May. All right, so this is everything for this Saturday. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> I can get everything done. We will see. With the help of my kids, I'm pretty sure we will get it all done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. 
Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. I do post new videos every single week here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.